one game at a time. Just got to keep rolling, survive in advance. Yes, fans appreciate the fight in Rocky Top. Spirits high here at home. Fans calling this Vol baseball team unstoppable. Some 900 miles away from the game in Nebraska. Vol Nation hoping their team can hear those cheers. And 10 News reporter Maria Guzman spoke to fans who have been following this game all the way from Omaha. Hey, Maria. Hey, John, Vol baseball is staying alive. Now fans here at home knew Big Orange had it in them to come back in full force. Now the rain did not stop fans from showing up at Yeehaw Brewing to cheer on the team. And now today's game marked the, the Vols first win in the College World Series since 2001 and the first World Series win for Tony Vitello as a Vols head coach. And now he joined UT baseball as head coach six years ago. And today his leadership has brought an end to a 22 year year old drought. I mean, it's electric. This team's never out of anything. I um, feel like anytime we watch a Tennessee baseball game, once we get to about the fourth inning, we know we can come back at any time. So it's absolutely awesome to see them do it again. And now fans say these comebacks wins are nothing new for the team as the last four years have brought ball baseball and national prominence with three NCAA regionals back to back NCAA Super Regionals and a college role series birth in 2021. This year they're different because last year, you know, we had a really good program. They've been together for a really long time and I think people kind of doubted them a little bit going into this year and it's and now the Vols will need to win the next three games to qualify for the World Series final. Now our sports team is live in Omaha and will have results from tomorrow night's game at 11 right here on 10 News. John Maria Guzman with the story from the fans tonight. Thank